Welcome to the Myrtle Beach Art Museum's Library After School Program. This workshop is called Mirror Mirror and is inspired by the American Society of Marine Artists 18th National Exhibition, curated by Liz Miller and on exhibit through April 17th. The American Society of Marine Artists, founded in 1978, is a nonprofit organization dedicated to the promotion of marine art and maritime history. Featuring 110 paintings, drawings, and sculptures representing the very best in marine art, this highly sought after exhibition is touring museums throughout the United States, and the Art Museum is proud to be one of those venues. Marine art is a genre that portrays or draws its main inspiration from the sea. Marine art depicts maritime activities such as sailing or fishing, inshore and harbor scenes, ship portraits, waterscapes, and marine wildlife. Ahoy, mateys! Now it's time for an art project. For our art project today, we're going to learn an easy technique for creating a reflection painting. These are the materials you will need. Art kit materials, which include watercolor paper, Q-tip, paint of blue, yellow, and white, Additional materials are water, paper towel, and paintbrush, which is optional. The first step is to fold your paper in half. Next, open your paper, and we're going to paint the bottom part of our paper, so from the crease down. And this is going to be our ocean. You can use the Q-tip, for a paintbrush, or if you have a paintbrush at home, you can use that. Open your paints, and you can see that I've given you blue, white, and yellow. So with these colors, we obviously have blue and yellow, and if we mix them together, we have green. And if we mix these colors with white, then we can create tints of both blue yellow and green. So I'm mixing blue with a little bit of yellow and white to create an ocean color. If you notice, we are missing the color red in our art kit. So we're actually working with a limited palette. So because we don't have red, we can't make purple or orange. So we're just going to have a painting with blues, yellows, whites, and greens. So now paint the whole bottom part of your paper your ocean. When you're done with this part, you're going to want to put it aside and let it completely dry before moving on. For the next step, once your bottom part of your paper is dry, you can start adding other aspects of your scenic painting. So I'm painting land, and every time I paint a little area, I'm going to fold my paper and press down. This will 
imprint the area that I just painted to the bottom part of my paper. So you want to work in small sections and while the paint is still wet, fold your paper and kind of rub that area that you just painted. And you can see I'm starting to get a reflection in my ocean. You can paint whatever you want. You can paint a boat or mountains, which that's what I'm going to do. But you can paint whatever you want. But you want to do it in small sections so that way the paint is still wet when you fold your paper. And you also want to be careful about not using too much paint because that will also smudge your details when you fold your paper. I've finished my land. Now I'm going to paint mountains. And you can be expressive with your colors since we are working with a limited palette. So I'm going to make my mountains yellow. And I'm going to continue to work in small sections. And then while the paint is still wet, I'm going to fold my paper and press down. Continue to do this and you will start to see your reflection painting forming. Next, I'm going to paint the sky, so I'm going to clean my brush and dry it off on our paper towel. I'm going to make the sky sort of a very pale blue. When you paint your sky, this is the only part of our painting where we don't have to fold it because our water is already blue. So now that I've painted my sky, I'm actually going to let my paper dry completely 
before I move on to painting other details like clouds or sun or trees. Now my paper's dry, so I'm going to add some clouds. And again, I'm going to start folding my paper again. So I'm going to paint a little bit and then I'm going to fold my paper and press down so that way I'll see the reflection of my clouds in my water. Next, I'm going to make a dark green and I'm going to paint some little trees. And again, every time I paint a little section, I'm going to fold my paper and press down. And I'm going to continue to add little trees throughout my painting. For the last part of my painting, I'm going to add a sun in my sky. So I'll be folding my paper for the last time once I'm done with the sun. Fold it, press it, open my paper. I'm just going to kind of fix a little bit of the details that might have got smudged when I folded my paper. And my painting is complete. Doesn't this look like the mountains and the clouds and the sun are reflecting off the water? It's a fun, easy technique. We would love to see your creations. You can share them with us on Instagram or Facebook either by tagging us or using the hashtag NBArtMuseum. Thank you to our generous sponsors and supporters. Thank you to our library partners, 